Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Welcome everybody to today's class. I hope you're all well by the grace of Allah. We'll begin uh, today's lesson as per usual with our opening dua. So if we could have um, a student on the mic, please. Can G2726 please unmute themselves? G2726. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Are you ready for today's lesson? Yes. Excellent. Will you <coughs> start with our opening dua? So if we can start with Dawus, I will recite and then you can recite after me. A'udhu billahi minash rajim. A'udhu billahi minash rajim. And the translation. I seek, I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected. Bismillah rahman rahim Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. MashaAllah. And today is Thursday, so let us quickly move to Thursday's dua here. Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a. Allahumma inni as'aluka ilma ilman nafi'a. Beautiful. And the translation? Oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge. Jazakumullah. So that was and really beautiful, um, beautiful recitation, really lovely tune. Um, just one thing that I want you to focus on is this section here. So we have here a noon gunna. So just make sure you hold on that and make a nasal sound. So once more. Very good. And your eye in there was really good and clear as well. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. Can my brother read? Um, what is his number? And we will ask our discipline G275. in charge. G275. We will ask the discipline in charge. G2725. <clears throat> discipline in charge, if it's okay. Um, and he hasn't already read, if you could choose him um, later on, that would be great. Jazakumullah. Love is okay. So, in today's lesson, um, as per usual, the etiquettes of the lesson, and um, that you should be in wudu with your clean clothes, and you should have your heads covered. Um, you should have you have mashallah arrived on time, and most of you have arrived early, which is fantastic. You should be in a quiet place with your parent present, and you should have your correct ID. Um, you will find yourself in the waiting room if you do not. So please make sure you rename yourselves if you do not have your correct ID. Okay, so um, in today's lesson, we're going to be having, as per usual, we've started with our opening dua. We will have another announcement after I introduce the schedule. So um, after our announcements, we will be going on to continue with our revision of selected rules of Vakf. We will then go on to our practice text, which is today, chapter 95, verses 1 to 9. Um, we will go on to look at our QRS, our part 14 of the Holy Quran, and, um, and then again, practice text, chapter 95, continuing verses 1 to 9, and we're ending with our consolidation and our homework. Okay, so our announcement for today, before we start with our lessons, is about our Jalsa, uh, Jalsa uh, Yome Masi Mahoud alayhi salatu salam, which will be on Friday, 25th of March, 2022. It will take place at normal class hours, which is 6 p.m. And you will just attend as you normally do a normal class. Um, but of, by the grace of Allah, you will have a chance to participate in this event and we have many activities we would like you to take part in 
Um, so we have the Lavab, we have the English translation of the Lavab, Hadith, the English translation of Hadith, we have the Nazm, which um, I will show you in a moment. We have two options, and we have our English translation of Nazm, and also we have a speech as well. So you need to send your recordings if you wish to take part by Thursday, the 17th of March, to ukquranplus at gmail.com. When you are sending your um, recordings, please state your activity, your student ID, your course ID in the subject box, please, so that we can, when we are listening to your um, entries, we know exactly who you are. So just a quick, um, this is going to go in the chat box and you can download from there and you can um, have a look at it and share it um, with your parents and whoever is going to help you and assist you to submit your applications or for your activities. Um, so you have your Dalavad, you have your translation of Dalavad, you have Hadith, the Hadith translation, you have your Nazm, Nazm translation, and then you have a second as an option. And again, the translation for that. You have your English speech. Um, and the English speech is um, the Promised of Islam's love for the Holy Quran. Or we could have an intro to the Blessed Children, the Promised of Islam, or any other topic of your choice. Um, please, when you send and record your speech, you have to say the title of your speech as well, whatever your specific title is, your name, student ID and course ID, okay? Also, when it's your speech, please make sure you send a written copy of your speech as well, um, because we need to obviously see a written copy. Um, and you have to also say whether it's or do an English speech um, in the subject. Jazakumullah, so that's the announcement for today. Uh, before we continue, I must um, apologize for my voice today. I'm a little bit croaky, um, a little bit of cough. So um, please uh, do bear with me and forgive me if I make any errors. Um, but inshallah, the class will proceed as normal. So uh, as we said, after that, we are going to today do selected um, rules of vakf. So before we go on with that, we have a short presentation to show you about rules of vakf. So let me just uh, get this to the beginning. Um, and I think that, um, just a second, if I share this with you, then you can see that the PowerPoint presentation for this just a uh, discipline in charge. Um, can you see the presentation clearly? <clears throat> yes. Excellent. Okay, so this is just a short revision um, presentation about when, oh, sorry, where to pause when we are reciting the Holy Quran. So the first thing that we need to know when reciting the Holy Quran, number one, the first rule, what we say has a meaning. This is when we say anything. That meaning can change depending on where we pause. For example, Zishan likes barbecuing and eating his friends and family. This sentence is incorrect. We do not know where to pause in this sentence. There are no pause marks. Zishan likes barbecuing and eating his friends and family. This sentence is also incorrect because the pauses are not at the correct place in order to make the sentence make sense. Zishan likes barbecuing and eating his friends and his family. This sentence is correct because you are clearly identifying where your pauses need to be according to the punctuation marks. And it changes the meaning of the sentence depending on where we pause. The second important point when thinking about where to pause when reciting the Holy Quran 
is that the Quran, the Holy Quran, contains the words of Allah. <coughs> we definitely don't want to change the meaning of what is being said. The fourth point to consider is so when we are reciting and we pause for a breath, we need to pause at a meaningful place so that the meaning does not change. We should stop at the end of verses. That is sunnah. It is what the Holy Prophet used to do. So here you can see the end of the verse, um, which is circled in red. These are the points within the Talabat, within the recitation of the Holy Quran, where the Holy Prophet وسلم, used to make a pause. For longer verses, you can use the simple method of stopping and going back a few words before restarting. We can do this multiple times in any verse until we reach the place where, they, where we can carry on. So for example, you can see the pause marks here and you can see where you need to pause, where would be a good place to pause and the points where you can stop and take a proper breath. For longer verses, we can use a simple method of stopping and going back a few words before restarting. We can do this multiple times in any verse until we reach a place where we can carry on. So just remember that that is your final rule in terms of your, um, in terms of your pausing. So just to sum up all of the VUC rules that we've covered so far. If we have a fatta, a dhamma, or a kasra, what is the rule? If you pause on any of these vowels, it turns into a sukun. And this is in your um, Tasino Quran lesson 21, rules 1 to 3. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have a vertical kasra or an inverted dhamma, if you pause on either of those long vowels, you turn it into a sukun. This again is in your Tansino Quran lesson 21, but this is now rules six and seven. If you have a tanveen of kasra or a tanveen of dhamma, and you pause on either of these, you turn it into a sukun. So if you pause on any tanveen except for fatatain, so the mean of dhamma or the mean of kasra, you turn these into a sukun again. And this is rules number four and five. If you have a tanveen of fatha and you have to pause on that, you will turn it into a fatha with an alif. A fatha with an alif. And that is how you will pause. If you pause on a dharma buddha, Carrying any stroke at all, it has to turn into a ha sakin. Okay, that is it's again lesson 20 verse one, um, rule number eight. And if you have a ya, if you pause on either of the above prolonged sounds for two seconds, uh, there is no change. So you will continue um, to have no change if it is um, a letter with a vertical fatha, which is followed by a blank ya, or if there is a vertical kasa underneath a blank ya, there is no chain in your recitation there, okay? So again, this is lesson 21, rules 9, 10 and 11. <coughs> so let me just show you the original screen again. So if we do show you some examples, if we go back to rule number four, for example, where you have a tanbeen of kasra, you can see that 
So how would you pronounce this in order to do a vaqf? A'udhu billahi min shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ilahim. Ilahim. To do your vaqf. With your rule number five, a thinveen of dhamma now. How would we pronounce this? Qadir. Qadir. Again, you turn it into a skun. Okay. Rule number six. Sorry, rule number five again. So just another example. Um, again, you've got a thinveen of dhamma. You turn it into sukun. So you have alim. Alim. Rule number six, rule number six, where you have um, you have a ha here with um, a kasra underneath, a vertical, sorry, vertical kasra underneath. If you look here, it's one second, we'll go back to here and we'll show you this one, which is a rule number six. It's a vertical kasra um, underneath a letter. What happens? You turn it into a skun. So you have su, su, li. Suli. Okay. Rule number seven. You have aha. It's an inverted dhamma on either both of these. Inverted dhamma, what do you do? You turn it into a sukun. Mawazinu. Mawazinu. Again, same word. Mawazinu. Mawazinu. Rule number eight. If we go back to rule number eight, let's have a look what it is. Rule number eight is if you have a Dharma Buddha, what happens? Any stroke on the Dharma Buddha, you turn it into a Ha Sakin. Okay? So here we have Dharma Buddha in several places. So this will turn into a hard sucking. Al Bayjina. Al Bayjina. Mutahara. Mutahara. Kayjima. Al Bayjina. So again, more. Examples of rule number eight here. Rule number nine, if you remember, if you have um, if you have a tanveen of fatha, fatatain, and it's followed, you have fo followed by a blank alif. So this will turn into um, this will turn into a single fatha followed by a blank alif. Sorry, you've got a tanveen here. So this will be um, in a situation of vakf. Dabha. Dabha Naka Naka Rule number 10 If it is a vertical fatah followed by a blank ya, there is no change, you'll pronounce it in the same way. So you would still pronounce this as na for two seconds. So astagna. Okay. And rule, um, again, these are examples of <coughs> the same rule. You have a blank ya after each of these letters. Um, the previous letter, the letter with the fata, uh, uh, vertical fata is there. So you just continue to pronounce it in the same way. Wa. So this will be taqwa. Al Huda Watawalla Allah Yara. And finally, rule number 11. Again, if you had to make a stop here, if you had to make a stop here because you needed to take a breath, you would do so by, continue, by not changing this sound. So it would be recited Who are you? Ye. Again, elongating for two seconds. Okay, so that's just <clears throat> to continue to practice examples of vakf. 
we're moving on to our recitation now. Um, we are looking at Surah at Deen today, which is the Meccan Surah, um, part number 30, <clears throat> chapter number 95. There are nine verses here, um, one Ruku, and it was 28th in order of revelation. So um, if we can have a student to the mic and we'll begin our recitation. In G275, please unmute themselves. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Is that G2725? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. How are you today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. So I am going to um, begin by reciting Tawuz and Tasmiyah and reciting <coughs> one short verse, and you will repeat each verse that I recite. But if you can start with Tawuz and Tasmiyah, and then we'll begin. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون you can start from Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Watini vasaytun. Okay, so all of your letters are really good. And we just need to focus on um, making sure you elongate properly. So this needs to be elongated. Okay. What? Um, just a second, my highlighter is it gone? This one, right? So. Um, also, we have a uh, shadda here, so we really need to push down on the da sound. What, what, di, what, dini? Have a go. What, dini? Good. So we can hear that sound really harsh. It's like you you're pushing down like there's two tars there, right? What, dini? What, dini? Very good. Again, we have a shadda here. And we have a, a yalin here. So we have to, again, elongate slightly, right? Was a... Was a... Was a... Was a... Very good. So I'm going to recite it again. And I want you to recite it again really slowly, but focusing on where you need to elongate and where you need to push down and harden the sound, Okay. Okay. What Dini was Zaytun? What Dini was Zaytun? Very good, beautiful, well done. What do you see? What do Beautiful, very good. I really liked um, the thickness of your ta. You elongated really well, and your letters were really clear as well that time. Well done. Wahazal baladil amin. Wahazal baladil amin. Beautiful. Once more. Wahazal baladil amin. Excellent. So again, you didn't um, you didn't make a pause here, which was really good. Sometimes um, we get confused because there are some blank letters, but you read that really well. You joined from the dal straight to the lam, and without making a pause or elongating unnecessarily. So that was really good, very clear, well done. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. Lovely, lovely recitation. Well done. Excellent. What I want you to do is make sure when you're joining here to the noon in this, in this particular um, situation, you need to make an elongated nasal sound, right? So you will say, 
لقد خلقنا الإنسان لقد خلقنا الإنسان Beautiful. So have a go from the beginning to the end of that verse. لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم Very nice. Well done. Excellent. Really, really good recitation, mashallah. Well done. G2725. Jazakallah for your help. Allah Hafiz. Salam alaikum. And if we could have our next student, please. Can G2585 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum. G2585. G2585. And in charge, I think we might need to try someone else. Can G2586 please unmute themselves? Assalamualaikum. Well, alaikum Is that G2586? Yes. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Are you ready to recite? Yes. Excellent. Could you um, recite the rules and basma? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Beautiful. So I will recite and then you need to recite after, okay? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Radadanahu Asfala Safili. Um, Radadanahu Asfala Safili. Oh, that was beautiful, Mashallah. Well done. Once more, really slowly. I want you to slow it down slightly, but it was really, really well done. Excellent. Um, Radadanahu Asfala Safili. Beautiful, well done. Let's carry on. Oh, that was so nice, Mashallah. Well done. You are, Mashallah, reciting really, really well. You have, <coughs> you have grasped the concepts really well. Your elongation is really good, Mashallah, really good. What I really <coughs> need you to work on is your, um, how much you can recite in one breath. So what I want you to try this time is you struggled a little bit to continue the full verse in one breath, okay? So if at this point, as you can see, we have, um, we have a pause here. So we can make a pause here, like we have a spoon here. We can make a pause here, the next letter as well. And then we will go back to this word and then we will try to recite the rest of this as much as we can in the breath. If you need to take a breath, I want you to think, if you need to take a breath yourself, I want you to make a pause and I want you to go back to the beginning of the word and then continue to burst. Does that make sense? Yes. Excellent. So I'm going to recite it and then you see how I recite it and then you have a go. Okay. And then what happens is as you build up your breath and your strength, your breath strength, you will be able to recite the entire verse in one breath. Eventually, it doesn't come straight away. It takes practice. Because, mashallah, your basics are really, really good. So I'm going to start again from here, right? Illa ladhina amanu 
آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم فلهم أجر غير ممنوع. Okay, want have go? إلا الذين آمنوا آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنوع. Beautiful. You managed that whole section in one breath. That was really, really good, mashallah. Excellent. Really good. Only thing I just want to point out, <coughs> it, was, it was fine the first time. The second time, your alif, just make sure it's really clear. <coughs> alif sound. It doesn't sound um, like an ayn at all. Uh, very soft. Okay. But other than that, it was a really beautiful recitation, mashallah. Well done. And the way you did the vak and you came back <coughs> and, and continued again throughout for the whole verse that was really good mashallah well done jazakumullah g2586 alaf is alaf is we could have our next student please can g2615 please unmute themselves Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. G2615. Yes? Yep. Excellent. How are you today? <clears throat> Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Are you okay? You understand what we're doing today? We're thinking about the different ways to work. Yeah? Did you understand all the work rules? Yes. Yes. They take time to remember all of them. But inshallah, you, you will be able to memorize all of them. So if we can start with the rules and Tasmiya. Usabillahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay, so I'm going to start from Bismillah and then we will begin from here. I will recite and then you can recite afterwards. Okay. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Fama Yukazibuka Abu Sorry. You, you got the book. Very good. But do be bitty. Nani. Excellent. Really, really good effort. You said. All of your letters were pronounced well. You made sure that you pronounced each sound. So that was really good. You had really good letter recognition as well. You elongated correctly here as well. Firma, you elongated for two seconds, I think, there. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to break it down with you. I want you to say a small part at a time. Okay. So let's start from here. Firma. <coughs> Firma. Fama yukazi. Fama yukazi. Fama yukazi buka. Fama yukazi yuka. Buka. Buka. Fama yukazi buka. Fama yukazi buka. Badu. Badu. Badu, 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 Bidin, Bidin. Okay, so the ba here has to connect all the way to the dal, right? Bid, bid, 
and then from the dal you connect to the ya and this ya here <coughs> excuse me this ya here is a ya mud so we would elongate this dal for two seconds so first we say bid 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 di bid di okay now we put that together and we really harden the dal bid Dean. Much better. Excellent. So you really, you really have to hear the dial sound there. Okay. Bid Dean. Much better. Well done. Let's do this last part. Badu Bid Dean. Badu. Oh, that was much better. That was so good, mashallah. So you really need to really slow down and make sure <clears throat> whenever you're Can reciting. I say something? Yes, of course. <laughs> when I try to register, like do my attendance, it doesn't work because I'm not signed in. Oh, why are you not signed in? Um, Because I don't have a Google account. Okay. Um, discipline in charge, could you note could you note the number <clears throat> uh, G2615 <clears throat> that when she registers or she tries to <clears throat> sign in on the form, um, she can't because she doesn't have a Google account. Just make a note of it. Jazakallah. Okay, thank you so much for letting us know. Jazakallah. Okay. Jazakallah for your help in class. Lafis. <clears throat> Lafis. Okay, <clears throat> so um, before we continue, we have one verse left. Let's recite this verse and then we'll go on to our QRS section and then we'll come back to our recitation. If we could have another student, please. <clears throat> Can G2631 please unmute themselves? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam, how are you? <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are yes, you? Alhamdulillah. If you can start with Dawood and Tasmi, and then we'll begin. Bismillah Very nice. أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين أليس الله بالله كم الحاكمين Really good effort, lovely tune, mashallah. Very, very good effort. Can you tell me what this letter is? <clears throat> Alif. Good. So how will we pronounce this, this connection? Bi'ah. Bi'ah. Well done. Bi'ah. Okay. So here we have a salah. I want you to make a thicker sound when you're saying this. Salahu. 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 Very good. So I'm going to break this down. And we're going to recite a little bit at a time, okay? Alaysallahu. Alaysallahu. Bi ahkamil hakimin. Bi ahku. Bi ahki. Bi ahkamil hakimin. Very good. Let's do the whole verse. Alaysa Allahu bi ahkamil hakimi. Alaysa Allahu bi ahkamil hakimi. Really good. This is beautiful sound. Really clear with your ha. Ha. <coughs> Make sure that it <coughs> comes from your throat the correct place. And <clears throat> you were reciting really nicely and your tune was very good. Keep practicing. The more you practice, 
the more the fluency will come as well. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Alhafiz. Could my sister read, please? Um, what is her number? We can ask discipline in charge. <clears throat> G2632. Um, is that okay with discipline in charge? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay, we have to uh, wait for a moment. Once we've finished our QRS section, then we will call her to the mic, inshallah. Okay, right, so um, let me uh, quickly share the QRS that we are going to look at in a second. Um, just a sec, let me find it. So, um, just a sec, it's disappeared. Okay. Okay, so um, we have here for today's lesson, our QRS. Okay, so um, yesterday you did part 13 and today we're going on to part 14. Part 14 um, <coughs> is, uh, begins in chapter 15 which is Al-Hijr at verse 3, and it ends at Al-Nahil, chapter 16, verse 129. The words that the chapter begin with are Rubama, Rubama. Okay. And in order to see that, let us see. Um, let me show you how we will find that. So um, it begins here and if we go here and we go on to part verse number three okay we can see here and um, this is where part 14 begins and you can see the words clearly here rubama rubama which is in surah 15 al hij okay that is where your um, your new part begins and it ends in uh, chapter 16 Sorry. It was 129. We'll check in a moment. One second. I will just check. Um, sorry, got a little bit confused. So it will end here. This is where it will end, 129. That was right, that was correct. Um, and then um, in order, when you go on to the next verse, so um, if you go on to 130, you will see, oh, sorry. So this is 129. And then if you go on to the next page, which um, will be Bani Israel. So the next uh, surah will start here. And that is where your next part will begin, part number um, 15. So we finish part number 13, uh, 14 and we go on to part number 15. Okay, right, good. So let's go back to our lesson. Um, discipline styles, can you see my screen okay? Yeah. Excellent. Um, so we're going to continue with our surah theme. Could you have my next student, please? <coughs> can G2632 please unmute themselves? 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. Excellent. Fine. Excellent. Good. Um, if you could start with Tawuz and Tasmiya, we'll begin from the beginning. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Beautiful. Well done. Um, I will recite and then you can recite after me. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to recite the first three verses. We've already covered it once. So if you can, um, just recite as much as you can of those three. Okay. <clears throat> make sure you make a pause where each of the verse ends, right? So where each verse ends, you need to make a pause. A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wattini wa zaytun وهذا البلد الأمين. وزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين. Really, really good recitation, mashallah. Well done. Let's do one at a time now. Just do the first one. Excuse me. What was it? So from the beginning, so just start from here, from the beginning here. What was a two beautiful? You made your ta was really good. You really pushed down the mashadda ta there. What teeny? That's really good. You need to make that sound hard, which you did. Excellent. And your za here as well. Really good, mashallah. Well done. And the next verse. What was Beautiful. Elongation was really nice. You made sure your thick sound there for the to was really clear and you elongated properly and you elongated very well here as well. So excellent, well done. And the last one. <coughs> Beautiful again, really, really nicely done. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go on to the next verse now. So this is a longer verse. Um, because, mashallah, you're recite, reciting really well, I want you to think about your breath in this verse when you recite it. If you need to make a stop somewhere and take a breath, try to make that stop correctly according to the rules of vak, And then you go back to the previous word and you start again and continue to the end as much as you can. Does that make sense? Yes. Excellent. So I'll recite the verse first. لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن وقد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أح Really good effort. Well done. And which letter is this? Meme. Meme. Can you just say that last word for me? Takuim. Very good. Well done. So once more. لقد خلقنا الإنسان في Thank 
We really beautiful, mashallah. Your recitation is really good, <coughs> very clear. Your elongation was really good. You had lovely nasal sound here, which often when we're reciting, we forget to focus on these sounds. It was really nice and clear. You elongated for a good three seconds here as well. Um, and you made sure that each sound was really clear and you made you tried to make sure that it was being articulated from the place as well. So that was really lovely recitation, mashallah. G2632. Jazakumullah so much. So all you need to do now is keep practicing, keep practicing, okay. keep building on your breath. Um, and tr the more you build on your breath work, the more you will able, be able to pronounce in your one single breath. But if you can't, it's important to make a stop in the correct way. So you do your vakf and then you continue from the previous word. Okay. Jazakumullah. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. <clears throat> we have our next student, please. Can G2636 please unmute themselves? Maybe try somebody else. Can G2628 please unmute themselves? Can G2685 please unmute themselves? Oh, I heard some. Wa alaikum aslam. Is that G2685? Is that G2685? No. Who is this? It's G2628. Oh, G2628. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm all right. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Good. Um, if you can start with Dawood and Tasnia. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanu wajim. Bismillah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Thumma ragadna hu asfala safilin. Thumma ragadna hum hu asfala falas asfala safilin. Really good. Well done. Excellent. You made sure um, whenever you made a mistake, you made sure you corrected it. So let's try and break it down a little bit. Thumma radadanahu. Thumma radadanahu. Who? 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 Good. Thumma radadanahu. Thumma. Good. Uh, if you remember, this is a meme gunna, a meme with a shada on the top. If you have a meme with a shada on the top, <coughs> it's a meme gunna, you have to hold on that sound and make a nasal sound for two seconds. Okay. A nasal sound means that you blow air from your nose pipe. So it's thumma. Thumma. Beautiful. Good, well done. So make sure you, you um, really pronounce that really well before we move on. Okay. Very good. Asfala safilin. Asfala safilin. Very good. Let's try and put that all together. Thumma radadanahu asfala safilin. Thumma radadanahu asfala safilin. Really good effort. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, G26. 
5 الله يحفظ السلام عليكم could have another student please <coughs> G2619, please unmute themselves. G2619. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, if we start with Dawood and Tasmiya, how are you today? <coughs> I'm good, how are you? Alhamdulillah. <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, Can we break it up? Yes, of course we can. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. Well done. We're going to start from here now, from the wall. Okay. وَعَمِلُ الصَّالِحَاتِ وَعَمِلُ الصَّالِحَاتِ Very nice. فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ 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 فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ غَيْرُ 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 مَمْنُونٌ غَيْرُ مَمْنُونٌ Very good, excellent. I'm really happy <coughs> that you asked me to break it down because I think sometimes <clears throat> we get all of us, not just students, we get overwhelmed, when, especially when the verse looks so long in front of us. And it's really important for all of you to be confident enough to say, I need to break this down. And then we can walk, walk you through it and talk you through it slowly. And when you do it slowly, your pronunciation really improves. Your timing really improves. Your elongation really improves. So make sure that you always ask if you need it to be broken down. And when you are practicing in your daily talawa at home, you should also be breaking it down if you need to. You break it down, you work on one part, and then you move on to the next part. And then your pronunciation and your talawa will become really, really good and really, really solid, inshallah. So mashallah, well done. And jazakumullah for asking me to break it down for you as well. Allah Hafiz.